This one is the bandstand uh, and Beatles. Um, I've worked on pictures um, based around that area, incorporating Victoria Square before. Um, but I thought um, this would be a nice angle to work from, basically because there's the police station running along uh, at the back of it, and it's got uh, like an unusual graphic pattern, which I thought sat well with the Beatles bar and also with the outline of the bandstand. This one's Belfast Castle at night. Um, I just love the location and the lighting that uh, Belfast Castle has. Um, it has the silhouette of the cave hill in the background and the gardens. Um, it gives off like a great tone effect, uh, which contrasts well with the rest of the castle, which has very bright, vivid colors. And a lot of people would think of the Belfast Castle as happy times. A lot of people would be going there for weddings and um, nice occasions. So I think it evokes good memories for people. This one's Belfast Cathedral at night. Um, this is um, one that I enjoy particularly doing. Um, I was working a lot on my technique, trying to raise the strokes a bit more and make them more defined and add in extra layers of color on top of each other and um, it's hard to tell whenever you're looking at the website uh, of the picture but whenever you see the picture up front you can see that it is very defined and um, horizontal and vertical lines and um, I, I like to have as much texture to try and emulate the feeling of fabric um, and I've enjoyed experimenting a lot with all my paintings um, and it's a sort of a, a growth within my style as well um, that I'm just trying to develop and um, this is something I've only been doing for the last year or so in this technique and I'm learning as I'm going along. The next one is the City Hall um, and it's called Royal Avenue at night. It's one of my biggest pieces. It's a meter by a meter and it's one of my uh, favorite uh, compositions. Um, I just happened to pick up the composition whenever I was um, actually going on a blind date and the blind date didn't turn up so I thought okay I'll go and take photographs instead and I'm glad they didn't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> The next one is the Custom House at Night. Um, this painting has probably the most textured of all of the pictures in the collection. And I started experimenting, instead of using uh, brush strokes, I tried to use um, like a nozzle, a bit like uh, if you're doing icing for a cake, um, and start applying um, along in the same format, in warp and weft, so hot horizontal and vertical lines um, and the trees especially on the sides of the building look more 3D um, and it's something you need to actually see at the exhibition to realise just the amount of depth that's going into it. Um, the last one is murals at night. Um, I chose to do murals because it's one of those places um, that I just love to go out basically and um, it it's got a friendly atmosphere and the street that it's on it always seemed very quiet and then at the bottom of the street you find murals just try to relay that into my painting and the fact that the rest of the street is quite quiet and then it's quite busy around there even though there's no people I just want to concentrate all the lights and the fact that there just seems to be something going on in that area